how do you, as a founder or an early stage employee, actually actually do that? While there are many techniques, what do you use? I do uh, basic sitting meditation, mm -hmm. usually for about a half an hour a day, either in the morning before work or in the evening before I go to sleep. And some days um, it's longer if I have more time, some days it's shorter, some days I don't do it at all because yeah. <laughs> things are just too crazy. Um, but the the common, you know, five, six days a week, it's about a half an hour a day. And so from there, then I have a sense of like, at least today I did one thing to help me ground myself and sort of get back in touch with, with my core, as it mm -hmm. were. I think it would be challenging to both start sitting meditation or any kind of contemplative practice mm -hmm. while you're starting a company. Mm -hmm. But I would encourage people out there to do that if you can, because starting a business is very difficult, as you know, <laughs> as you know. Mm -hmm. And so the ability to take care of yourself is a big success factor, actually, in making it yeah. for the five or 10 or 20 years sometimes you need to build a big company. Let's say for a week you don't do it. Yeah. You know, do you find that there's actually a difference in who you are, how you, how you relate to others, how you relate to the problems? So not only do I find it, but the people around me find it. <laughs> And, and actually, sometimes they notice it before I do. Hmm. Uh, my wife particularly is like really tuned in now to hmm. the fact that um, I'm less mindful in my speech. I'm mm -hmm. less aware of what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I'm more um, reactive. Mm -hmm. Somebody will say something and I just lash right back. Right. Um, whereas with sitting meditation, when I'm practicing it, I'm, I have a little more space mm -hmm. between the action and my reaction. Right. And having that space then gives me the option to say, how do I want to respond to this person?